It's Saturday and I just filmed a video. It had bars all over the video. I had to re-record. So we're gonna take this off and we're going to chit chat, get ready with me. I have lots of new products and I have a little bit of a life update for you. And uh, yeah, let's dive in. How are you? Let's remove all of this. I actually have to take off my mascara too. Oh, that's gonna be a bummer. Wow, that mascara came off real easy. Blue is sleeping in the bedroom, if you are curious. So let's prep with the, this is the 11 Ace the Day face lotion. This is something Credo sent me and I've been really liking it like quite a bit. It feels like a really nice face cream and it has little to no scent. I did gua sha. The blood flow is all at the surface of my fair skin. So no, that's not irritation. That's just me being alive. Yay. How are you? How was your week? How was your week? I feel like this week really flew. I don't know. I have some great newbies, like I mentioned. Florisis, I am probably pronouncing it wrong. These little plastic covered works of art. We're gonna talk about it. Something from Credo as well. This is Minu. This is a brand new launch for them a broad spectrum SPF 30 gel cream. So I'm actually gonna put that on top just cause I wanna see it. And as we're talking about sunscreens, I did wanna mention the Le Prunier Plum Screen. This has PA++++. This is very impressive stuff. It's not inexpensive. I really have liked it. However, when I apply certain things on top, it starts to pill. And that is a bit of a deterrent for me, but not all the time. There's a little bit of a tint to this, by the way. They say it's pretty universal. Ooh, I exfoliated happy skin. Ooh, this is beautiful. Very gel cream for sure. Not oily, gives a glow, but it doesn't feel like I have grease all over my face. I put on between the two, the actual amount that you should probably be wearing of sun protection. I like both. I'm going to check these out. I mean, you know, I also like this one. I should probably just do a whole roundup at this point, but this is a first impression, this feels phenomenal, and there's a tiny bit of evening out going on. Natural look, feels great. It's in plastic, kind of a bummer. Also in plastic, kind of a bummer at this point. I know getting rid of plastic is impossible currently, and I know that it doesn't solve all the problems, but on a personal note, if you haven't heard me say it, which you probably have, I am trying to review something and give you a plastic-free swap, and as I do that, I'm going to start eliminating that from the products that not only I use, but also receive from brands, which I made a mistake. I made a mistake with that. And again, I'll tell you. So the Prunier is actually something that is aligned with not only what I've reviewed for the last six years, but also where I'm headed with the channel. I'm very intrigued by this brand. I did purchase their plum oil because I'm crazy. I'm very intrigued, so more to come there. Speaking of plastic, Tower 28, such a great brand. Can we get rid of the plastic? Can we do that? I'm not priming the brush. I need to go kind of quicker than normal because I just filmed 20 minutes and had to like let it all go. But anyway, let's just, let's just pop this on real fast. Something else that I have learned with that kind of a product is after I apply it, I do need to set that even though it's pretty thin. So I have some 14E setting powder and I just cover with my fingers. And then if I want to build, I do it after I set with that powder. And because I think the formula is so thin, it actually works even better. So I'll take another round of this. I don't really need it right now, but just to show you, tiny little bit it between the fingers even less right and then I can just press it on top to build and this way I have found on my skin that it doesn't whatchamacallit doesn't crease as much you know so that's kind of cool I'm always trying to figure out new ways to apply concealer because it can be a real pain in the butt all right I have my trusty little Jones Road eyeliner here I do like it it's very soft you want to reinforce it you can use a powder eyeliner if you need to like the mob beauty option and then i want to apply a little bit of the zhao foundation stick i have been testing it i am doing it with a soft brush and a drop of where's the oil 
oil. And that is still something that is working for me. I did reach out to them. They have the word fragrance in the formula and it took them about maybe a week to get back. And their response was, hey, we'll let you, we'll get back to you on this. And I asked what's inside the fragrance ingredient. And five years ago, I could understand that. I could understand that. There was a lot of people, a lot of brands were still covering that. They weren't really disclosing it. Proprietary blend, yada, yada, yada. We're not there anymore from the majority of the brands that I work with or have used and tried. I am actually really liking the performance of it. I'm not seeing instant texture like I have. It's half the price of the OG stick. For now, I feel like it does a, de a decent job. I'm still doing the wear tests, TBD on those, but so far you can see it evened it out really nicely, I think. Speaking of OG, I have their contour stick. This is the bronzer in copper. So I will apply this and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about life update. So I have been now walking on the treadmill consistently for 60 days. Oh my God, look, I have makeup all over this. There's a little shimmer to this, a little redness to this. I usually like cooler tones. I feel like this is very similar to the Flavado and Albedo glass pot that I've tried, except this is in a lot of this and that's just in a glass container. I'm not mad at it. I think it's the warmth that's getting to me. You might like that. At the moment, I'm very into the cool tones. Yeah, 60 days in a row. So there's one thing that I've wanted to do in 2024. I rarely do any resolutions or anything like that. By the way, this is the Ilia palette. I have had this for a while. That's the cool nude necessary eyeshadow palette. It's in plastic, I know, but I want to use everything that I have. I've been really liking a couple of these colors. So we're talking this guy. Actually, honestly, I like them all except for the burgundy. There you go. Done and done. I just haven't been into burgundy. <laughs> and this is the best brush for if you really don't even want to think. It's the Ilia blending brush. You just basically like cannot mess it up. It's so floofy and soft. It just goes on so nice. It just blends so well. I don't understand. And you're thinking, oh, I want something that's, it's not precise at all. It still just works. I love it. This is not a fancy pantsy look. I never really do those anyway. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the taupe higher up and just kind of give myself a little moment for the treadmill because really 2024, that's what I was saying. I just want consistency, you know what I mean? This is something that has just floundered in my life. I've been really, 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 really inconsistent since the beginning of the pandemic. We all have very different pandemic experiences. I can appreciate that. I was in California, as most of you know, very different from what it was like over here in Nashville. And Plume Mascara, by the way, I'm very curious about this. It shook up everyone's routines. It also shook up my corporate life and working remotely, which was so phenomenal to have that. Driving across the country to move here. Just a lot of change and what that did to my treadmill routine. And this is a promise I made to myself back in high school. I swear to you, I started walking on a treadmill at the school gym and then I started walking at one at home. My mom ended up getting a treadmill. And so I was lucky enough to have one at home and I would walk on it because I was so stressed about getting into college. I was so like, I didn't know where I wanted to go. It's a privileged position to be in. I do understand that. I just remember leaning on a treadmill when I was stressed and it worked for me then just walking. And yes, walking outside is better for most of us, but I like that time. There's no distractions. I listen to music. Sometimes I don't listen to anything. And most importantly, it just helps my mind. So I had gotten out of any form of structure in my life. I had three years of a lot of change, going from a city to a smaller city, and then also living further away from the downtown. You don't walk as much. So I would say it's a more sedentary lifestyle for three years. And that took its toll on my health, cardiovascularly. It just, 
I just saw it happening. And so I've always tried to get there and tried to be more consistent. And I called my friend in December and I was like, listen, I've never needed an accountability buddy, but I think I could really use one. I have to be consistent with my health. I'm 43, which is young. And I'm grateful to have made it to 43. And I can see how walking now and weightlifting, I started doing that too, how that's going to facilitate living well when I get older, if I get that opportunity, you know what I mean? I'm gonna try and figure out how I can do that really well. If there's one thing that has changed the game for me, it's that. And then it has this domino effect. It's a very soft mascara, as you can see. If you like that kind of thing, I usually like more. You guys probably know that. But it has this domino effect. So I'm like, oh, I'm really showing up for myself. Not to sound like an Instagram quote, but I am. Oh, that feels pretty good. I don't do it every day. What I have done is made a promise that I would not go two days without walking. And I have broken that promise twice. So I've accepted the fact that I'm gonna be totally imperfect and not make it some days. But what I do on the days that I really don't wanna get down there, having the accountability buddy has changed it. And then I'll go downstairs and I'll just say, put your sneakers on and step on the treadmill. It has me doing this in other areas of my life and there has been massive change. Am I saying it's all because of the treadmill? Probably not, but it did kick it off. Now I'm looking at what I'm eating and with the weight training, I'm looking at mobility and recovery. I do all the stuff on the face. I'm very obviously into looking good and skincare and the rest of it, but I am really, really, really vibing with feeling good and the mental health benefits for me have far surpassed my expectations. Friends and family are like, wow, you sound, I got a lot of that. Like, you sound great, you sound great, you sound really good. When this time last year, I was in pieces. I couldn't even, I didn't even know if I was gonna get on a plane to San Francisco. I was so anxious, I was so exhausted. I was just not in a good headspace. So. I just wanted to share that update. You have to celebrate small wins, you know? So I have all of these things. I've talked about plastic free. I do have the Mod Beauty Loose Blurring Powder. I also said yes, I, I think I was in a daze, to a company called Floresis. You will have seen it on several beauty creators pages. They reached out, they were kind enough to send me product. I looked at their products and I was like, that is a lot of plastic. And then I think the manager on that platform was like, hey, you need to get back to them. And I was so busy that I was like, yeah, totally. Can you let me know what's inside? Because I see a fragrance ingredient and they did not, they did not get back to me on that. So normally that's a deal breaker. And then not only that, but they generously sent me like all these works of art covered in plastic. So much, just so much plastic. These things are treated like, almost like tech. It's almost like I opened up an iPhone, except it's a beautiful, beautiful, ornate iPhone. They're stunning. Nobody can say they're not highly ornate. They're not gonna be everyone's cup of tea. But man, I did not think they were gonna send me so much. And now I'm gonna use it because I have it. We're gonna do a first impression here, TBD on full reviews. But this is the face palette and I'm going to go in with their bronzer. If I had known that I was going to receive this much and that there was this much plastic, I would have probably not accepted. And I'm actually really glad that this happened because it sort of kicked my butt a little bit, for lack of a better phrase. And I was like, "What? you're trying to remove plastic and you're accepting things from brands that are not aligned with you, what you want. So I'm making that transition. I am not doing it perfectly. I readily admit that. This is very buttery. Wish I was not liking it. It's pretty lovely. It's pretty buttery. There's zero kickback here. Wow. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Can I live without it? Absolutely, but it's, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty nice. <laughs> nice glow happening. I also have lip products from them, primers from them. I need to dive a little bit deeper and talk to the brand a little bit. Maybe there's something that I'm totally missing here. They obviously put a lot of care, this is the blush by the way, a lot of care and attention into the aesthetics 
and packaging of their brand. And I mean, when it's done this beautifully, I do respect that. Again, I just, alignment. I think it's just a little, it's a little lot of out of alignment, but wait, I have to show you something else. So I received another part of, this is a lipstick. And you're like, what? This is a lipstick. And again, like beautifully ornate. It's not, you know, I'm more of a minimal person, but that's okay. There's a keychain on it. And I mean, it looks like it's a purse. It looks like it's a purse. And it took me so long to figure out. I was like, how do I even get the lipstick out? And then you press that and like, these components are not cheap. And then look at this. I'm giving them a lot of airtime for somebody that I'm probably not gonna show again on the channel. I don't know, we'll see. But do you see their scroll work on these? I have to talk to this brand and understand more. I'm going to apply this in a minute, in a minute. In stark contrast to Fluorisis, Fluorisis, I've got to figure out how to pronounce that. I have the Mob Beauty Blurring Powder. Credo generously sent this to me, along with the Minu, and this is the pink shade. I'm very excited to try this. This is supposed to blur, set, you know. And I've got some glowies going on here. Very light makeup, actually. I'm almost done, I think I'm almost done. So I'm just gonna use the puff that I have, and Let's do here. Let's see how this, well, it is blurring and it is setting. Now, is it different from other ones? TBD. This is, this is a tough category for me. I also want to try it on just sunscreen and not any color products as well, because that gives a better sense of performance, but it's lovely. And this is 100% biodegradable, recyclable, all the things. Ma Beauty is killing it in the space. Like, next level. And I do like a lot of their products. So that would be my swap. That's why I included Ma Beauty in this video. I was like, oh, there's so much plastic. We gotta bring some, you know, more sustainable, eco-friendly products into the mix on this one. That's what I'm gonna keep trying to do. I'm not gonna try, I'm going to do it. It's gonna start happening also on the scorecards. This really, like a beautiful blurry modification. Are you seeing it? It's kind of great. Ooh, okay. I would like to try this with a tinted moisturizer and be done. That's where I'm headed. Good skin, SPF, a little bit of tint, setting powder on your way, right? That's, I love that. Goals. Should we put on the lipstick now? It's gonna change the whole look. Let's do it. They also sent a lip gloss. It is also encapsulated in plastic. Do we wanna do the gloss or do we want, we wanna do the lipstick, come on. Who does, it's just, yeah. Alternative to this would be the Air Perez Coco Crayons that I'm obsessed with. I am still loving those. I have featured Air Perez 8 billion times on my channels. They do not reach out to me. I am not paid to say any, I'm not paid to say any of the following, but man, I love those Coco crayons. And you know who else has really beautiful lip crayons that are smaller and easier to apply? Elate. Really, really beautiful crayons that you can use all over your face as blush, as lip, as eyeshadow. I might talk more about those if you want me to let me know. But this is in shade my one and only. Here we go. Oh, oh, it's a velvet matte. I mean, how are we rating this pigment on a one to 10? How are we giving, what is the score that we will give it on a one to 10? Not scorecard, it's just pigment. It's strong. Don't get ahead of yourself. The ingredients deep dive, the wear test, the packaging. We haven't gotten into that here yet, but it feels pretty great. Maybe they'll be like, actually, this is biodegradable. <laughs> They're not gonna say that. I have the Exa Lip Pencil. I have been loving these. This is in Barrier Hopes. There's a really fun lipstick and pencil combination that I'm gonna need to show you soon, probably on Instagram, so keep an eye out. This is like a neutral, dark neutral. Talking and applying a lip liner, adding it to resume because that is a talent. Oh, even better, in a car and applying lip liner. Have you ever done that? I've never done that. That's scary. And it's a little all over the place. My hair is very interesting today. It's very like, 
circa 1996 when my mom used to make me wear rollers. That wasn't 1996. I don't know when that was, but she would be like, okay, we're going to set your hair. And I go, no, it's got that. It's got some good volume. I have tried the Ethique shampoo bar. So there's that. Anyway, full face, lots of new products, life update. If you have any questions about anything that I've tried, absolutely leave them in the comments. I, I had fun trying these things out. They're not all winners, that's for sure, but there were some pretty strong contenders in the mix. Thank you for spending your time here with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you right back here real soon with some more reviews. Until then, bye.